it's time to try out my new Hot Logic XP Max Oven and my XP Mini. Look at this XP. Remember the regular size Mini was like this. See? This does everything this does except this expands and we can put things in the top here. So like I said the other day, I'm going to make a, a picnic for us. I'm going to have some frozen food in here. And some fresh. I'll show you. Look. Remember, it's time to heat up. Heat up. For the big one, I'm going to put in here. Look at this. Encore. Toasted onion gravy charbroiled patties. What is that exactly? It's not Salisbury steak, but it's frozen. And that's how I'm going to demonstrate to you that we can put frozen meals in here. Look. Just like that, frozen. Got a lot of room there, right? So, go sideways. And then, to go with that, I have some mac and cheese that is completely frozen as well. I'll leave it just like that. See? That's it. That's all you gotta do. Close it up. Zip it up. Pull the cord out of the back. There it is. Brand new. Plug it in. Plug it in the wall. See that? Put that aside. What am I gonna do with the other one? I'll show you. The other one. Open it up. Get the top of the bottom. I put my Pyrex six cup in here because I knew what I was gonna do. I'm going to make some corn on the cob. This is leftover from our picnic the other day. Remember our picnic? You were there. So there's three ears left. Let's see how they're gonna fit. One, two, three. It's good. But I was thinking of breaking them in half maybe because we're gonna be out. And it's gonna be easier to handle. I could go like this, I know. But I want to put something else in here. Some asparagus. <laughs> Isn't that good? Just to show you how we can cook from fresh or frozen. Let me rinse these off. About six or eight or ten of these. them around nicely. They're gonna fit good. They're gonna fit alright. I can cut a little bit off the bottom. Make sure they fit good. What do you think of that? I like that idea. Look at this. Mmm. -hmm. Asparagus corn and cob. Now that one's already cooking. It's plugged in and it's ready. Right now it's like almost 12 noon. I'm going to add some water into here, maybe a cup of water, yeah that's going to be good, and I'd like to put some butter on top of there too, where's the butter, here it is, just a couple pats of butter, and you wait till you see this when we eat it. Call me Butterfingers. Put the lid on. See? Seal it up nicely. Close it up. Pull plug out. Plug it in. Let me open this one a little more. Since it's mini. And that one's ready to go. So that's our main picnic food. 
getting ready cooking so easy you could go take a nap now run some errands or if you took this to work at seven o'clock it'll be ready for you at noon or whenever you eat same thing with that one could put a casserole or some frozen dinners in there remember what i got two frozen packages of food in there then i'm going to get my supplies ready and open the top and put them in at the end like plates and spoons and forks and salt and pepper things i want for the picnic i'll show you that right before i leave okay and on the way there i'm gonna plug them in in my truck and keep them cooking and keep them warm i have one of this power pack here i'm gonna plug one into there i'm gonna plug the other one into my truck outlet because some new cars and trucks have an electrical outlet you know that 12 volt you can also buy a hot logic with the 12 volt plug for your truck or car or boat or anything okay so let me go maybe move along and go to the store and if i was going on a long trip somewhere for a couple hours i would plug these in the car and cook them completely in the car like i did in the past but i'm gonna meet kathy at a park i don't even know where the park is so i'm gonna put it in my gps to get there <laughs> okay so it's gonna cook on the way while i'm finding my way there and she's at work she's gonna meet me there all right see you in a couple hours i'm supposed to meet her there about three o'clock right now it's 12. okay it's 3 p.m feels nice and warm let's open it up and get into picnic mode what do you think of that let's unplug these until we get to the truck Remember, I'm going to plug them back in and keep them warm on the way. Although, they'll probably stay pretty warm. I'm only going five or six miles away. Open the top. Oh, that's warm in there. Nice. Okay. Don't need my shoulder strap right now. Here, I'm going to add paper plates, knives, spoons, forks, salt and pepper, what else do we want to put in there? Some bread. <laughs> oh, two drinks. Oh, seasonings. Delta barbecue rub. She liked that on her corn. And Bojangles. Seasoning. That's good for anything. I think that's enough for that. Well, we're going to put in the corn side. Let me put a couple bottles of water in here. Oh, napkins. Do I got napkins? Yeah, I got napkins. Look at how much I put in here. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Zip this up. And this one's ready to go. Mmm. The Max XP. Let's open up the corn on the cob. Expansion. I smell corn. Ooh, I do. What am I going to put in here? What else is left? Butter. Anything else? She told me to bring tomatoes and avocado. I don't know about an avocado. What do you think? Avocado. What are you going to do with that? I don't know. Side, maybe. What else do I need? I don't want to forget anything. Okay. So just butter an avocado in there just to show you that you can put stuff in there. But this is the main picnic basket for right now. Zip these up. Let's go out to the truck. Turn the lights off. Tuck our cords until we get there. Remember, I'm going to take this one power pack with me, plug in the mini. I could do that right now. The other one I'm going to plug into the truck. Okay, still cooking. Plug the big guy into the truck. It smells good. I'm hungry. You know that, right? All right. See you in the truck. And then we got to find our way up to Louise Moore Park. See you there. All right, I got the big one on the floor there. I got the mini XP in the middle. Got the big one plugged in, see? And I got my little power pack over there with the tripod. I think I have to stop at the post office first though. Cause I gotta notice that something is there. Let's go. Louise Moore Park, I gotta look it up on my phone too. I know it's close to here, but I'm not sure where. See you soon. Here we go. It's 
me. Ooh, something here. Let's see what it is. Yay! It's too big to fit in the box to give me a card. It means it's something good, right? Probably crowded. Oh, it's not too crowded. There's a lot of cars out there, though. Really? That must be Italian. Should I open it now? Or where do we eat? Boy, it's so hot. Can you see the heat? There she is up ahead. It's 93 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. But I made it. Time to eat. We made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> you logics. You know what I made? What'd you make? Supper. All right. Where um, is it? We're gonna go over there by the picnic. Hope oh, there's a roof over there, is there? Yeah, there is. Okay, let me get the tripod. All right, I'm gonna head over. I'm hungry. Well, this is called Louise Moore Park. It's a hundred acres. Oh, there's people over there. Yeah. There's our spot. There's some people behind the wall there. We'll try not to bother them. Got a chessboard there or checkers. Got a grill, nice. Like I said, it's 100 acres. I've got a big glare on my monitor here. I don't know if you can see very good. Probably you can. And here she is. Have a seat. Let me see if I can see you in the camera. Where are you? I'm over here. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Okay, time to eat, right? Yeah, let's have a picnic. So you worked all day, didn't you? Yeah, can you tell? <laughs> all right. What you think? Hi. It's nice to be invited to a picnic. <laughs> After Supper work. already made. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, the main course is here. Ooh, these are the new bags. Yep. Oh. Bread. Bread. Drinks. Thank you. Seasoning. <laughs> Salt and pepper. <laughs> Plastic ware. Oh paper gosh. plates. Wow. All the comforts of home in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and the main course is down here. <laughs> They're really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> the unveiling of our first meal. Max XP. Oh, look at it. Ooh. Mm. That's meat. I forget what kind it is. I said it earlier, but it's going to be good. Mm, smell it? I, think mm. it. I forget what it said. Garlic something? I forget. Oh. Meat. It's meat. Oh, it's it looks like meatloaf or something. Oh, I should have brought a big serving spoon. Oh, well, Mac and cheese. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right. Well, let's... I have an extra spoon, so we'll... Get the gravy out? Yeah. Well, to get the mac and cheese out, too. Oh, yeah. Now we can fork our meat out. A couple extra plates in case you stop by. <laughs> mm. Wow, this is wonderful. So tender it broke apart. A picnic that's hot lunch. Mm. Ooh, yeah, but on 93 degrees. <laughs> Can have that. It just feels like it in the sun. Oh, it feels like. Yeah, there's a lot of gravy there. What else? Well, that's all the meat, four pieces, but that's enough, right? Okay, sure. Now a spoon for the mac and cheese. Yeah, I'll give you some. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this was a great idea. Cooked from frozen, remember? Oh. There you go. Thank 
Okay. Neighbors are leaving. Finally, some peace and quiet. <laughs> There's another, uh, another guy coming up there. Five. <laughs> probably a cop. You got a permit for that? <laughs> mm. Mm. All right. Now, what's in the other bag? Uh oh. Let me empty this out. A little more? <laughs> we could dip our bread in the gravy too, huh? Yeah. He has some kind of inspector. Look, he got some paperwork with him, that guy. Oh. Alright, let's open the other one. Okay. Top part? Yeah, something in the top. Alright, let's get this over here, front and center. Butter, which is getting a little bit soft by now. Uh -huh. And avocado. I don't know if you want to eat that here. Do I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I just thought about bringing a whole salad, but we have so much. But I could have put a salad on top of that. What? <laughs> You're really sweet. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm hungry, that's all. Okay, let's see what's in the bottom of this. Hot Logic Mini. This is an XP as well. Oh, look. What? <laughs> look at that. Mm. Wow, it smells so oh, good. It does. Corn on the cob and asparagus. asparagus. All right, we can get them out with our own forks, I guess. I guess. I brought a couple of butter knives for the butter. An extra plate if we want to make a mess. Wow, they're mm. hot, hot as you would want them to be. You can hardly handle them. Mm. Our first hot logic picnic. Yeah. All the years we had hot logics. Oh look, you got like buttery. Yeah, put butter in there. Oh my gosh, let's roll them around a little bit. Asparagus. You hear the guy talking about the traffic jam down the road. Yeah, it was construction. Did you get in it? A little bit, but. Me too. Not too bad. Do you need something here? Bread, if you like. Mm. I can't believe how nice and hot this is. It's like we just got it off the stove. Yeah. <laughs> I plugged it in on the way over here, too. There's oh. some bread plates and stuff. Butter knife. You want a little spice for your corn? Oh, first you're going to put butter on. Yeah. Bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. <laughs> What a perfect day for a picnic. Birds are singing. Yep. So Louise Moore is the wife of Hugh Moore. And Hugh Moore was the founder of Dixie Cup. Have you ever heard of Dixie Cups? Well, everybody has. Well, let's see. And that originated in Eastern PA a long time ago. And she left this park in her will to the county. For everybody to enjoy. Louise Moore Park. Yeah, and there's Hugh Moore Park too. We'll go down there sometime. Oh, so that was That's her husband. Over. Yeah. Oh. Hugh Moore Park is on the south side, down by the river, in the canal. Mm hmm But I was never at Louise Moore Park. I heard of it and I drove by it, but I was at Hugh Moore Park mostly. What a nice family. Dixie Cups. I used to come here to rollerblade. Oh. Like in your crazy days. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, napkins. Mm -hmm. Ooh, salt and pepper, which I usually don't use, but since I brought them, I'm going to use them. <laughs> mm. You, salt or pepper? No, thanks. Not even your corn? No, I'm going to try that barbecue rub on my corn. Yeah. Wow. We don't have to worry about the food staying hot today because yeah. it's hot enough. <laughs> We're doing dishes. <laughs> you can see our food, right? You want to dip the bread in the gravy or spoon some yeah, gravy yeah. out? Yeah, bring the gravy. You want to spoon some gravy out onto your meat? Oh, you got to taste the meat, all right? Taste the meat. Taste the meat. It looks like Salisbury steak. I know, but it didn't say that on the box. I forget what it said, but I said it in the beginning of the video. Look how tender. Remember, it was frozen solid. 
Mm. I got some on myself. <laughs> mm. It's tender and good. Mm -hmm. Let's dip some bread in the gravy. Mac and cheese. Gravy bread. Mm. Let's try the corn. Made only in a hot logic. <laughs> mm, perfect. Mm. That's perfect. Mm. Do they have any events here ever? It's a walking path, a big long walking path. It would be nice if we could camp here. I don't think so. No. I've been here where they ride around with the golf cart at dusk to oh. make you leave. You could use this whole pavilion for your family or your party, but you gotta get a permit. Yeah, then nobody else will be here, right? When you get it's that. supposed to be. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The corn is perfect. You're right. Mmm. -hmm. What if we rented it and we told all our friends to bring their hot logics? <laughs> <laughs> hey Claudine, come on over. <laughs> yeah, we know there's a few around here. Hundreds of you. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. There's no bears around here, is there? <laughs> I imagine there could be. There's a fly. Should have brought my bug zapper. <laughs> Did I say I was gonna cut the grass today, but I didn't? Did I say that? Yeah. I don't know really because I wasn't there for the well, first time. But it doesn't look that long, but I know it's gonna rain for a few days. I was reading an article about why it's good to let your grass grow a little extra mm. long for the environment and for the I always birds. believe that. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just like I believe not raking leaves. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lazy thing, it's a good thing. Plus, when you rake them, they blow back the next day anyway. Did you try the asparagus? Yes. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Asparagus is really Corn nice right now. crisp to it. Mm -hmm. What did we eat that with the other day? Well, we had it at our cookout for oh, yeah. 4th of July. That's why we had some left over. On the grill. I even ate a piece raw while I was putting it in. Is mm -hmm. that okay? Yeah, of course. That was good. Mm -hmm. It had like a peanut flavor, I don't know why, when it was raw. <laughs> mm. Is that your SUV? Some of the houses on the way up here were so nice. Mm. So nice. I didn't see any swimming pools though. No. And they're so close to my house. They're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It'd be so nice to have one of them. Yeah. Big house, three car garage. Upstairs, downstairs. Hmm. Did you get some bread? Hmm. <laughs> There's more. I forgot to put the barbecue Delta Legends. I'm going to use Bojangles on my meat. Want any of this? No. Oh, on my next piece of corn I will. Okay. Stopped at the post office on the way over. There was a package there. Mmm. It's for Gilly. Fragile. Aha. Uh -huh. Wonder what's in it. It must be Italian. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. We'll open it when we're done eating. So you gotta stay tuned for that.
Mm -hmm. Don't let it fall here. Where's that corn? Give me a honk. <laughs> You know, when there's something favorite on my plate, I save it to last to eat because I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And I always eat my least favorite thing first. But right now, it's all good. That's okay. It's organic. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about What'd you that. put on this? Yeah. A little butter oh, first. Butter. What are you having today? You having a picnic? Put something in your hot logic or make some burgers or hot dogs at home put them in there put the bread separately you can put the bread or rolls in the top part if you have an xp and go somewhere you can get the 12 volt model that plugs into your car if you're going close by it'll stay warm enough yeah without plugging it yeah, in yeah you got corn on your face <laughs> i'm not done doing you're that corny <laughs> Ooh, look at this baby Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's still so hot, too. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I know what else is really good for. Hmm? The driving. We could mm. do this at the drive-in. Huh. But we like getting pizza on the way to I the know. <laughs> or we steak have... sandwiches. There's mm -hmm. a pizza place right by. We went to the drive-in a couple nights ago. I'll show you some pictures. Mm. Mm -hmm. Last year we had the camera there, and maybe you saw it. And then there was a news crew there, too, and we got on the news, remember? Oh, yeah. I'll put a link to that in the description. We interviewed the news guy. Yeah. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> but then he put us on the news. Mm hmm couple clips. He was nice. Mm -hmm. Channel 29, I think it was. Philadelphia. We saw F9. Fast and Furious 9. But usually, yeah, usually we take food to the drive-in, either buy it on the way or have some snacks, you know. Mm -hmm. I was a little disappointed with the movie. F9? Yeah, I don't know how the guys went from being street racers to saving the world. They were saving the whole world. I love cars. I love action like that. Well, we were expecting racing through the streets. Mm -hmm. But... They were jumping cliffs and everything and <laughs> mountains and I don't know where they were. Some country. But I was a little disappointed with that. But it's nice to go to the drive-in anyway. Mm -hmm. And we each got a pizza. About a mile away, there's a pizzeria. <laughs> and it's so good. So good. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to go to the driving again in a couple of days, but the movie didn't change. It's still there, yeah. Yeah, Hell usually over. it changes every week. We have two drive-ins in our area, and they both have the same movies. <laughs> well, we got a lot of summer left yet. Yeah. Mm. One time a couple of years ago, I was recording us at the drive-in and some guy comes out, you can't use a video camera here. Mm. I'm not going to record the movie. No, no, no. And he watched me the whole movie. I put it away. I was just recording us. We were opening a, a snack pack, one of the munch packs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had the camera on us just like this. I put it away, looking at us. The whole movie was back there looking at us. <laughs> well, some people probably do that. Yeah, you know. but I put the camera away. I could wear my camera glasses and do it, and he wouldn't even know it. Right? Right. But who wants to watch a movie like that? Well, that's not our gig. We don't ever do that. <laughs> no. We just starting record to, our fun. <laughs> starting to perspire. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we're in the shade, though. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You like your meat? Very good. But you can't eat it all. No. Want some more? No, but it has a good flavor. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
I forgot dessert. <laughs> this is more food than we need, <laughs> isn't it? It's supper. There goes that guy. He's some kind of inspector, see? Mm-hmm. We got papers and clipboard and stuff, yeah. On the phone he was saying he had all this traffic to go yeah. through, but it really was about three minutes. <laughs> he don't know he's on YouTube Worldwide right now. <laughs> hey honey, guess what? I'm going to be on TV. Mmm. <laughs> So what are you guys eating for supper tonight? Hmm? Are you eating outside at a picnic? Picnic table or something? Get the nice breeze. The breeze is nice, but it's over 90. Mmm. <laughs> this makes the corn taste good. Barbecue corn. Mm -hmm. Legendary seasoning and rub. I wonder if Kim ever put this on corn. I wonder. You get some good ideas. <clears throat> uh oh, here comes some more people. Uh oh. They're probably just running on the path. They don't look like they're running. They look sweaty though. Mm. Oh yeah, gravy bread. Oh, that was mine. Uh-oh. Was it? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Mm. <laughs> mm. I still have more. That's good. Scrumptious. There's a big sign over there about lantern flies. Did you see mm -hmm. it? What does it say? I didn't read it. I just saw it on the way in the driveway here. We should look at it though. Yeah. That's really good. And it really took no effort at all. Who were there when I made it? Open the thing up, put the thing in, <laughs> and plug it in and go take a nap or whatever you're gonna do. Oh, there, I thought you fussed and fussed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just put in the hot logic to keep it warm. Huh? <laughs> Lots of the asparaguses. Is that mm -hmm. how you say plural? Asparaguses. I think you just say asparagus. You just say plural. <laughs> Asparagi. A bunch of asparagus. <laughs> right? <laughs> Asparaguses. Mm. Mm. How many hot lobbies do we have? Do you know? <laughs> Don't even know. Red, black, blue, orange. Pink. 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 Uh, have... One family size red. Oh, you counted that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we use them all at once. Yeah. Had them all around the house. Yeah. Cooked in a tent. With that little power pack I had? <laughs> oh, yeah. Plugged oh, it in and had breakfast in the morning. <laughs> yeah. That's a great place to use them. Mm -hmm. Except you smell your food cooking all night. <laughs> while you're trying to sleep on the ground. 
it would be great if we had an RV. Oh yeah. But then that would have a stove. But then you wouldn't want to heat it up. Right? I guess we might find uses for it in there. Oh yeah. That's another thing. I didn't turn on the stove or the oven or heat up the house all day. Cooking this gourmet meal. <laughs> open the box. Oh, okay. Is good about it? Mm -mm. <clears throat> you want any more meat? Are you full? Mm -hmm. Okay, on that one. Really? Yeah, I got enough with this one piece. Mm. That comes. Uh. Mm. Mm. Looks like I dipped it in chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but it's better than chocolate. Mm. Okay. We could have made sandwiches out of these too. I know. You want more corn? No. I'm excited to open this box. Are you? Mm-hmm. Do you want to open it? No, nope, I'll watch. So good. So peaceful, isn't it? Okay. Hundred acres. Here we go. <laughs> Careful, we gotta get the food out of there. Mm -hmm. This is from California. All oh, right. <laughs> Sunny California. What? What is that? What have you never seen? What is this? Uh, what is that? What is it? Toxic waste. Hazardously sour candy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to pucker you up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look. Mr. Toxic Head. Oh, like the warheads, remember? Yeah, right. I used to get them. I used to get them for my kids. I bring them home from work every day. Look at this. Oh, oh look. It's what? Go ahead. It's about how long you keep it in your mouth. If it's 15 seconds, it's a total wuss. Uh -huh. If it's 30 seconds, you're a crybaby. <laughs> and if it's 45 seconds, you're a toxic wannabe. Wow, wannabe. But the full toxic head is 60 seconds. Should Ooh. we try that sometime? Not yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. We will try. Look at this. You didn't see it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's another box. Wow. Oh, it's a letter. You need a letter. Ooh, you need a letter. It's a 3D mug. Oh, nice. Nice cushion. Wow. Thank you, my friend. Let's see. You need a letter. Oh, see. that is so cool. Open it. Okay. I got one too, Area 51. I think <laughs> oh this my is my God. friend who lives near that area. Oh. I'll tell you when I read the note. Whoa. Oh, Isn't wow. that neat? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Take me to your eater. <laughs> Mind the same? I'm sure it is. I hope so. That's a nice mug. Oh, yeah. Look. Look. Why is that official? Alien yeah. fresh. That is cool. That is very cool. Very cool. That's nice of you. Thanks for sending that. Let's see. Nice letter. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh. 51 authorized. I might put that on my truck. <laughs> Maybe. What do you think? 
That's pretty cool. Do not remove. Wow. Wow. That's cool. I love my truck. Hi there, Rick and Kathy. Sorry it took so long to ship this. That's all right. You don't have to send us anything. That's me talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going to retire August 31st. Oh, that's lucky. So lucky. I was thinking about August, but I don't think I'm going to. Well, lucky for him. I mean, I would love to. Let's see. Sometimes I watch myself and say, this guy's nuts. But then again, I have you beat sometimes. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah. As long as it passes the taste test, sometimes your food is wacky looking. <laughs> your videos inspire me to experiment in the kitchen, and sometimes I do pretty good. Of course. I have many vlogs and what I watch. But you were at the top of the list. Aww. Uh, enjoy the gifts. Keep doing what you're doing. Big fans out west. Aww. Big D and my little dog Cujo. Cujo. <laughs> That's my friend Dan. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, thank you so much. See? It's the both of us. That's really nice. Yes. We appreciate that you get inspired by some of the things we yeah. do because we and have a lot of fun. Looks like this could be a bank. Yeah. And it's done. Yeah. We'll be able to keep it. Wow. Free stickers inside, too. Hmm. That's so great. Thanks a lot, Dan. We'll, cool try, we'll try them another day when our I think. palette is clear from you know, this No, I don't nice put thing. many bumper stickers on my car I or know. truck, but this might be cool. <laughs> Your lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> lawnmower. <laughs> well, yeah, you'll find the right place for I was it. thinking about putting it on my truck. Well, that's I nice. I did put the little stickers of where we were, Niagara Falls, Memphis, Tennessee, Point Pleasant. <laughs> Rhode Island, mm -hmm. Newport, some fancy mm -hmm. places, but this is so cool. Thanks a lot, Dan yeah. and Cujo. So glad. Cujo. And thank you all for watching us again and joining us on this sweaty day. I need a clean napkin, please. Okay. I hate to throw a dirty napkin at my fans. There's a nice clean one. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Check out the Hot Logic. I'll put a link down there. It's a good discount if you use it. It's amazing. Even if you never go outside, put your meal in there, frozen, whatever, right? We created great meals in here. Oh, yeah. Frozen. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Or just heat your stuff up. Yeah, a few things that you have mm -hmm. in your refrigerator. Put something in there before you go to bed and you wake up and you have hot breakfast or sleeping out in the tent like I did. Or if you work weird shifts, put it in there in the morning and when you wake up in the afternoon, your food is ready. Mm -hmm. Leftovers, pizza. I have a playlist I'll put down there too. All right, that was great, wasn't it? Yeah, very nice. Cheers. Thanks for making Dindin. You're welcome. <laughs> this is my favorite mug. I like it a lot. <laughs> See you later. Thanks again, everybody. Please subscribe. Check out Kathy's channel. I'll put a link down there when she made a bunch of ribs with all the hot logics. See you. Bye. Ooh, that's so nice, isn't it? Yeah. What is now? Oh no! Oh. No, I got corn beef here. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Are you gonna eat one now? <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Hang on! Bonus footage. All right, you wanna time me or? Mm -hmm. There I go. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. Come on, just count. 10, 11. Is it in your mouth? Mm hmm. I'm well, past 15. You're past 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm cry past baby. 30. No crybaby. I'm not. 31, Better 32, than a hot pepper. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay. 45 is a. Toxic wannabe, you going for 60, mm -hmm. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Sorry about that. That's over 60 seconds. That's okay. They heard about it. <laughs> Want to try it? No. <laughs> almost got her. I almost did. Still going. I guess I'm better at sour than I am at is hot peppers. Is it peppers. getting more intense as you go? It is. Look at, look at. 
got tears. Oh, you got tears. <laughs> he got tears. You'd think it was a hot pepper. No, oh, hot pepper, I'd be screaming. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, he likes it. over here, too. Yeah. Oh, my God, he's crying away. <coughs> That's almost crybaby. Yeah, but I made it. But you made it. Got to be two minutes by now. All right. Cool bonus footage, huh? <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Carry another napkin. Bye. 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 <laughs>